Terry Pilkadaris here. I'm going to talk to you about the grips. Now, there's a few different grip styles on tour. So, I'm going to run through three different styles that the guys are using on the PGA Tour, European Tour, Asian Tour, Australian Tour, all the tours. Okay, so if you're going to get a lesson and they don't test you for your grip style, you're behind the eight ball already. So, there is a grip test. There's two tests you can do to determine what grip you need. Now this is all for your trail hand, your right hand grip for the right hand golfers. So you start off with a basic grip. So everyone's going to be taught, it's quite, we call it a vanilla grip, but we call it side. So where the V points more just in between your right shoulder and your right ear. Justin Rose has got this, Tiger Woods has got this. Most coaches will turn around and say this is the grip everyone needs. But then you get someone like Dustin Johnson, Adam Scott, Zach Johnson, they've got a strong right hand grip. The V on their right hand goes out past their right shoulder. So all of a sudden that's a little bit different to where it's on top. Then you have someone like Rory McIlroy, Bryson DeChambeau, and when they grip it, the V points more to their nose. Now there is no correct grip, it just what suits each one's pattern. Right? So as I said before, there is a test you can do to do this. So if you're seeing a golf coach and they don't do a grip test on you, they are guessing what grip you need. So why guess when you can test and measure? Okay, so then the thing with this is once you've got the right grip, then your right arm works a certain way. For an example, so Justin Rose, we test him. So one of the drills, clap your hands together, swing your arms to the right. Now if the elbows are level like this, got a pretty neutral grip. If the right elbow is lower than the left like this, you're designed for a strong right hand grip. That's Adam Scott, Dustin Johnson, Zach Johnson. Then you'll get other guys which will go this way. Elbows separate, right elbow goes back behind us. Rory McIlroy on that grip style as well. Bryson D. Chambo as well. So what happens, their elbows work differently. So all of a sudden, that's Rory McIlroy, Bryson DeChambeau, and myself go this way. And then you've got Adam Scott, Dustin Johnson, Zach Johnson, go this way. Now that's a big difference in the way the elbows work. And all of a sudden, now that changes what your shoulders do in the swing. So all of a sudden, if your right elbow goes back and up, my shoulders get steeper. For example, we go this way. What happens? My shoulders get steeper. Now, if the elbow tucks in, it goes this way, so there's a knock-on effect on what your grip does and how your right arm works and how your shoulders work. Classic example, Roy McElroy, he'll be steeper this way, so halfway back it looks steeper and he's tilting this way. Then you have Zach Johnson, he's under this way, he's more like this. And that's all relative to the grip. So if the right hand grip is strong and under, the elbow tucks, and you get what we call a counter swivel. It's going to look a little bit like this. If your right, if your grip's weak or weak right hand, the elbow's out. You're going to be steeper on this way, and it's called a counter tilt. So there's all these variances in the golf swing. It's all related to the grip. So that's why you test and measure. So there's another grip that you can do. You just grip the club with your right hand, swing it back and through. And you feel through impact, so through between your toes, the can club flips over, or that grip isn't the right one for you. So if I grip it really strong like Zach Johnson and Adam Scott, and I do it, to me it feels like the club's flipping over through impact. And then if I go sort of like uh, Justin Rose and Tiger, and it still flips a bit, and then I'm going to get it like Rory on top, feels the most stable. So through the hitting area, the club's not flipping. So all of a sudden, that's the grip I need. And then you swing along the direction it wants to allow you to go. So all of a sudden, if you've got a strong right hand grip, right hand's here, the club's gonna swing down and out to the right a little bit, more down the line. If you've got like Adams, uh, like Justin Rose and Tiger, you're gonna swing down the line a little bit more. And then you've got the weak right hand, the club will go down and to the left a little bit. So different release patterns. So Rory and all that down and to the left a bit. Dustin Johnson 
is down and out the line. That's all relative to what the right hand is doing. So, if you need any help on the golf game, come down and see me, Keysbrook Golf Club, or online on the Skillist app. I can do these tests on you and tell you what pattern you need or what grip style you need.